AVC, what's up? The lighting probably sucks in here, but that's uh, we're gonna have to deal with it today. I've got my main cave packed up with some stuff that I'm getting rid of. I was watching YouTube. Rob Walker has a video out, and I really enjoy Rob Walker's channel. If you don't know him, man, you're missing out. Really cool guy. But he was doing his 10 favorite illustrated covers. I thought, man, that's pretty cool. You know, covers like this. And this is, in fact, the one he showed. One of the ones he showed. Really cool album cover. Illustrated. It kind of sucks you into the album. You know, you're listening to the album. You're, you're checking out the cover. You always find something on the cover that you missed it previously. I'm going to show some of my favorite uh, illustrated covers. Also, I'm going to show three new pickups that I got over the weekend. I got them yesterday. Um, it's Sunday. I'm filming this video. And um, it was our antique festival in our town this weekend. And I was really, really busy working at a friend's shop. And I was able to go out during my lunch break. And I found a, a great vendor with some cool stuff. And I'll show you that in a minute. But right now, I'm going to show some of my favorite illustrated covers you got to show Steve Earle. His stuff in the 90s and up, very cool covers. This is JT, a tribute to his son. Tremendously cool artwork. This is the Jerry Jeff Walker tribute. Again, some really neat stuff. And this next one I've showed quite a bit over the years for different reasons or not, whatnot. David Grissom. Look at that cover, man. Can you see it without a glare? What a very, very, very cool illustration on the cover. The Grateful Dead, live from Mars Hotel. Actually, it's not a live album. A great illustration. The Black Crows, I've always dug this. This is a Record Store Day reissue, kind of a 12-inch single. But I love that illustration. I remember when this CD came out back in the 90s, man, it was a uh, very cool album. Still is a very cool album. I don't know if you're catching it without a glare, but I love the illustration on this album. This is a cool thing because when they band recorded that demo and they took it to the record company, they said, you don't have to re-record it. We're going to use the recording that you submitted. A little bit of trivia there. Collective Soul. Funkadelic. They always have some kick-ass covers. Some great illustrations. Funkadelic. And last but not least, the Good Rats, a band from upstate New York. If you can see it there, there's a rat belting his lungs out right here with tails and a top hat. The Good Rats. Anyway, as Rob Walker started this thread, very cool thread. Also, like I said, this weekend I picked up three great albums. Captain Beyond, I don't know if you could, I showed this in a short I did, a short video, you know. I don't know if you could see the, how it's 3D on camera, but what a cool freaking album cover, man. Captain Beyond, uh, Rod Evans from Deep Purple on vocals. You had Johnny Winter's guitar player, and I think two guys from Iron Butterfly. Gosh, what a vet. And that's a cool cover, man. This is the 3D cover. Um, psych rock? Yeah, kind of. Progressive rock, prog rock. I hate the term prog rock. I hate that term. Um, this album melted my face. I heard it for the first time yesterday. I got home from the antique shows, cleaned it up, Captain Beyond, and it's it's. Crazy cool, and the price I got it for was nuts, man. Considering it was an antique festival, you know, people were charging outrageous prices. Well, the people around here, I think, are getting hip to that. Either that or they don't give a crap about albums. The people that were there, they were looking for, like, I'm looking around for something to show you. They're looking around for, like, mid-century or 1800s freaking arm walls and stuff like that they weren't into vinyl and this guy was like willing to make a deal 
I bought that from them. And I bought Smiley Smile. The Beach Boys. And this is a cool one because the... I'm trying to find the album. What did I do with it? I think it's on my record player. It's on the Brothers record label. And that's some really good illustration. This album, it's got some background noise, but I think it could be easily cleaned up. And it, it's a great album. And one album I've been wanting on vinyl, I always said if I find it on vinyl, I'm going to buy it. I'm not a big fan of this dude, but I love this album. Smoking OP is Bob Seger. It's an early, early Bob Seger. Look at that. No beard on the boy. Find him. This cat right here. Clean shaven Bob Seger. Not that that matters, but this is a great album. It's not like that stuff he put out, Against the Wind, and that commercial song he did about like a rock. Some really cool, decent blues rock. Real happy to find those three albums. I was delighted with the price. Anyway, Rob Walker, thanks for starting the thread. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Rod. I'm the Happy Hippie. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that sub button. Here's some more illustrated stuff. That's Lost and Found Records, man. Greatest store in Knoxville. Peace. God bless Israel.